welcome to Minute with Nature. I'm your host, Lauren Azuri, the park naturalist for West Bloomfield Parks. And we're inside our nature room today talking about albino animals. Something kind of rare, but exciting nonetheless. Albinoism is the absence of pigment, the melanin pigment, in our skin, our hair, and our eyes. And it's controlled by genes, usually a recessive gene. And it's not just their skin tone that you're looking for to identify an albino. It would be their eyes as well. Because there are lots of other animals that have white fur to survive in the Arctic, like polar bears and Arctic fox but they have color in their eyes. If you have a red or pink eyed animal, sometimes even a light blue, that means that they're an albino and they lack that pigment in their eyes as well. Albino animals are at a disadvantage. They do have lower survival in the wild. They don't have as much protection from the sun. They have impaired vision, so if they're hunters, generally it might be harder for them to find food. They are not as good at camouflaging anymore because they do stick out in their natural environment and they're not as easy to find mates for them. So it is harder to survive as a, uh, an albino in the wild. We actually have an albino animal ambassador here, our garter snake. And a garter snake is generally um, a black with a yellow line through it and is meant to camouflage in the tall grasses that it lives in. That's why we have our albino garter snake here in our nature room. It acts as an animal ambassador. Um, we brought it inside for, as a captive animal because it wouldn't have a very high survival rate out in the wild. And it's also great for education for people to see why different animals have different colorings. And that's your minute with nature.